serious about your fitness goals and thinking about hiring a coach, not so fast. Coaching is a big commitment that doesn't work out for some people. Here's what to expect. Number one, building and maintaining a friendship. This includes opening up about yourself and being vulnerable sometimes. If you close yourself off, how can anyone help you grow, change, and stay accountable? Let's be real. Number two, talking about your struggles. Most people love talking about their workouts and their diet when everything is going well. But the number one way I can tell a client has had a bad week is if they miss a check-in. Here's the thing. Talking about your challenges is the number one best way to improve your game and ensure they don't keep happening to us again and again. Number three is saying no to shortcuts. That means no crash dieting, no juice cleanse internet trends, no performance enhancing drugs, no diets that demonize so-called bad foods, and more. As your coach, I'm here to make sure your physical and mental health are thriving, that we reach your goals in a safe and responsible way, and that you'll get life-changing results that last. That, my friends, takes time. Number four, the investment. When it comes down to it, money is energy. Think of money as step one in commitment and accountability for the majority of adults. Much of a coach's job is about encouraging individuals who come to you week after week feeling tired or unmotivated or sometimes even defeated. Remember that it's a lot of work for both parties, the coach and the client. If you think you've got what it takes, click the link below to set up a live strategy call today.